Today I'm going to show you how to make a sheath for your knife out of PVC. Stay tuned. G'day guys, welcome to the channel. If you've ever bought a knife that has never come with a sheath, or if you're like me and you somehow lose it on the beach, don't tell me this hasn't happened to you before. I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to make a sheath out of some PVC tubing. So. All you're going to need is a heat gun, a hacksaw, a marker pen, a cordless drill, obviously some PVC and a knife. You need a piece of PVC that's going to be thicker than the thickness of the blade when you squash it out. So this clearly is going to do the job. And I like to add a little attachment at the top so I can hook it on my my belt, my fishing belt, or my rod holder belt, or whatever it is that you're using. First things first, make sure you have enough material, obviously. So with the method that I'm gonna show you, you will need enough material to be the length of the blade and twice the length of the handle. So in my case, about there. Yeah, yeah we've got enough, we'll make it work. Pretty simple concept, um, and cheap and easy as well. Let's go over to the workbench. Check out that beauty. Okay, cool. So, first thing is to measure your blade. And then I like to add half an inch or 10 to 15 mil on top of that and just make a mark. The rest of this is gonna be our handle. <clears throat> uh, the print on the back, you know, you can rub it off or you can just fold it over so it's at the back where it's going to be against your leg and you won't see in any case. From here, we need to heat this up. And I forgot about this block of wood as well. It helps, you don't need it. And also a vise. I've got vise guards on mine so that I don't mark the material too much. We're just going to heat this up enough so that we can actually press it and make it flat. you've got enough heat when it starts getting a bit floppy. Just on that. But don't push too hard that it's fully pressing up against itself and I'll tell you why soon. Still needs a bit more. It's important to keep it pressed while it's cooling because otherwise it's going to spring back to its original shape. Should be enough. Still a bit soft. So I like to press across the top of the PVC where this section of your blade is going to sit. And the idea is that the PVC is going to press against the top and not against the blade so it's not going to make it blunt over time pulling it in and out. And also if you've got any baits or any rubbish on your blade it's going to um, minimise how much of it gets stuck inside the PVC sheet. You can always obviously rinse it out later at the end of the day. Um, but if it's too tight as well, it's hard to get in and out. <clears throat> so I think that's good. We'll just do a trial fit on the end side. It's not, it's a bit too loose for my liking. Add a bit more heat. This just thin, baby, still my senorita, uh, baby, why you gassing it? I've been passionate, rabbing this, I'm a savage, so tell them that minute. This is a fiddly process. To get it quite right, every knife's gonna be different. Um, I'll do a lot of this off camera. Let's get on to the important stuff. Another trial fit. Yeah, it's still a bit loose, but that's okay, because this is where it really needs to grab. This is the tip. So while I'm talking about the tip, put your blade, put your blade up against your PVC. Quick work with a hacksaw. Sweet. Okay, so the tricky part. So next step, we need to make the handle. And I make it twice the length of the handle so that when I fold it over on itself, I can spread it out and make it thick enough to fit uh, the buckle on my rod holder. So a good idea is just to put a mark down the side. 
both sides. Just as a guide, doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, it is just a fishing knife hole at the end of the day. Stick this in here, and now we cut. So we'll back and forth a few times. Good. You can run a file through this if you want to get it nice and smooth, but we'll save that to the end. So now I need to heat up this section that's been cut and flatten it out. Let me in my zone. Please don't let me in my zone. Let me in my zone. Let me let me in my zone. This flare here, nice and perfect. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Go and play that. Set you down, I'ma say that. Mine need me a couple dollars. Telling you now this payback. Huh. So I'll take that. Ask him now, we'll say that. Give it like 30 seconds or however long it takes to cool down. It's looking okay. It's a bit on the piss because I can't cut straight. You get the idea. While it's still hot, you can form it a little bit, fold it over on itself, and trial fit the biggest part of your buckle to make sure that it clears. So it might be a good idea to actually put the buckle in there, heat it up a touch, and hold this down while it cools. In my case, I know that's going to clear, so I don't worry too much about it. Before we go any further, let's do a test fit. No penetration of the blade anywhere. It's nice and secure. I have to give that a bit of a tug to get it out. So at the bottom it's nice and loose, but at the top it's nice and tight. It's exactly what you want. We're nearly there. So four holes. Now, if you don't want to put holes here, you can always just glue it with Araldite. I like to just get a couple of cable ties and pass them through. Body up the spit. Final check. Clears. It's always a bonus, and there you have it. I think it's just missing one final touch. Back in my zone now. There you go. It's now drone fishing approved. So there you have it. A simple, nice and easy DIY PVC knife sheath ready to go. If you found value in the video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Tell me what you have done in the past for a DIY knife sheath. Check out some of my other videos on the channel. I've got a playlist that will pop up on the screen now for a um, tutorial on the, my go-to drone fishing rig and also a bunch of rods and reels that I prefer to use when I go drone fishing. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Take care, be safe.